Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTNHD. And yes, we're back inside our little mini series. This is part two. Part one was all about creating a reference image manually. And today is all about creating a WinPE bootable ISO. Now we need this because we need to capture our reference image. Now, first things first, you could do this within a Windows Server environment or a Windows 10 environment. I did it within a Windows Server environment. So I right click on the start menu, click on run did a WinVER, and I'm actually doing it within Server 2019. Now, you don't really need to do it within a Windows Server 2019. You are able to do it within a Windows 10 environment, okay? Now, you need to install Windows ADK. It is a must. So you're going to do a Google search and do Windows ADK, and we need to download two files. First file that we need to download is the Windows ADK that supports Windows 10 version 1809. And it's uh, it's pretty easy, small file. And the second thing that we need to download is the Windows PE add-on for ADK. It's two files that we need to download, okay? Once you do that, we are going to click on the little arrow to show in folder. Uh, I'm getting this because I'm using Chrome. And once I do that, it's going to launch up the downloads folder. Now, the first thing that we need to install is the ADK setup. So we're going to right-click on that, run it as an administrator, click on run. It's going to start loading up. You're going to get the nice little wizard, click on next. Uh, I hit no for this, click on next. Uh, definitely accept the license and terms if you want to continue. Leave everything as the default, click install, and it's going to start loading and installing uh, Windows ADK on your machine. Once it's done, you're good to go, click on close. Now the next thing that we need to install is the Windows ADK WinPE stuff. So right click on that file, run it as an administrator, click on run. It's going to load up and by default this is what you want click on next from here i clicked on no click on next accept the license in terms if you want to continue and then you only got one thing to install which is pretty huge 5.7 gigs click install it's going to start installing and acquiring all the information that it needs to drop it inside your machine again you don't really need to do it within a server environment you are able to do it within a windows 10 environment uh, once everything's completed click close you're done by saying to yourself, are we going to use MDT? No, we're going to get down and dirty and do a little bit of command prompt. Awesome. Now within my virtual machine, I have a uh, partition drive and within my partition drive, I call the E storage. I have nothing in it and we are going to click on start menu and within the windows kit, we need to locate the following deployment and imaging tools. So click on that. All right. Tools environment is going to give you a specialized command prompt that will utilize the DSIM utilities within the Windows ADK and also the Windows ADK WinPE stuff. That is the tool that we're going to use to build our WinPE bootable ISO. Awesome. So I'm going to do a CD backslash because I want to have like that nice little clean environment because it gives me this entire, I don't want this. I don't want to see that. So if I do a CD backslash, it's going to clean it out for me. And the first command that we want to do is copy PE AMD 64 to my partition. My partition was the E drive. Uh, and I'm going to create a folder WinPE. If I hit enter, it's going to take all that stuff and drop it inside a folder called WinPE. Once it's done, you're going to see success. That's a good thing. If you go back inside your partition, you're going to see your new folder, WinPE. When you open it up, you should see three folders. Now, the next command that we, we need to run is we need to create our ISO so we can boot into it. So we are going to do the following command. Make WinPE media forward slash ISO the location of where your WinPE stuff is located. For me, it was the E drive backslash WinPE, that's the folder, and where you want to drop your new ISO. I want to drop this ISO inside the WinPE folder in my E drive. When you do that, you also got to give it a name. So it would be new WinPE.ISO or whatever name you want. Hit enter. And once it's going to start creating it, you will get a nice little loading percent. And once everything is done, it's going to say 100% completed. Success. That's a good thing. And then you go back inside your WinPE or wherever location you want to drop your ISO. Again, I dropped it inside the WinPE folder. And there goes our 
new win pe you can give it whatever name you want is up to you does not matter and that's it guys that is how we create a bootable win pe super simple uh, you're not really locked down on what environment you can install Windows ADK. I, you know, I did it within the Windows Server 2019 because that's the type of machine that I had available. But you are able to do it within a Windows 10. I think you could probably do it within a Windows 7 environment. I'm not too sure. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this part two of this little mini series that I'm pushing out for you guys. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.